Hi everyone and welcome to part five of my observatory build. So today I'm going to be finishing off the walls and connecting the track to the motor which will hopefully move the roof so I'll be able to open the roof with a touch of a button. <laughs> Okay, so this is it. The very first test I've connected the track to the motor and I'm now gonna try it out for the very first time. Let's see if it works. Success. Well, test complete. Needless to say, I'm quite happy about that. So I'm going to supply the observatory with power by running a conduit and a cable along this wall and I'm going to connect into that box down there, there's power to that box. So I'm going to run a conduit in the ground along the wall and up the back of the observatory. I would recommend though that if you're not used to doing this kind of electrical work that you must be safe and if you're not sure get an electrician, um, someone who can do the job for you. Um, myself, I'm, I'm used to this kind of work, I do it at work. So I'm gonna run the cables, but I am gonna get my electrician friend. He's gonna check it for me and make sure everything's okay and safe to use. So with the benefit of hindsight, I've realized I'm gonna be better off to recess the sockets and the cables. I was gonna have them all surface mounted and have standoff boxes, 
but there's not a lot of room in here really so i thought rather than having standoff boxes which are going to stand off a couple of inches i'm going to be trying to get past and banging into them knocking them off so um i've taken the board off recessed all the cables recessed the sockets and uh, now what i've got to do is get the boards back on and finish up the electrics So, the wire coming in at the bottom is the supply and it goes into where it says supply there. Blue is neutral, brown is live. And the top, we've got two loads going over to those sockets over there and one behind me. And again, blue is going into the neutral, brown in the live. And the earth, just got to get my little sleeve. There's a sleeve to go on the earth there. And then they both go into the earth terminal on the back of the socket. Just slide that on there. They both go into there. I always give them a little pull to make sure they're not come out. These are all gonna be 13 amp double sockets. nice to get the felt roof on at least it's sport tight now so thanks to Gary for that that's great so finally I've got the roof complete I've now got it connected to the motor and with the touch of a button it opens all by itself how good is that Fantastic. And with another touch, I'll close the roof. So at the moment, I'm still using the remote control. I've got to set up the magnets to control the stop positions. So that will be done next. But for now, I'm happy just to have a remote button to open and close the roof. Right, so this is the end of part five. And I'm pleased to say that the roof is all complete now. And obviously the motor is working, everything's connected, that's good. I've still got to get the magnets to control the stop positions and I've got to get the um, internet cable into the observatory so I'm pleased that the electric's done so the next video will be getting the rig all connected to Nina and hopefully working uh, remotely um, I'm going to change the rig around it's currently being run by the ASIA Plus but I'm going to put on the uh, Mealy Quieter 3 Mini PC I've got so I'm, I'm going to reconfigure the rig around and there'll be a video for that so if you like this kind of thing and you'd like to see more then please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already that would be much appreciated so i'd like to thank all my existing subscribers and i look forward to seeing you all on the next video and as always i wish you all clear skies